don't care if you owe me a, owe me a, you, you need to pay me. I kiss you later, kiss you later. Then kiss the baby, get situated, get keys off table and leave her. I really made it, get it made. Won't wrestle, wrestle, cause I spatula all you action figures. This tiny like a spider on a spur web. I got some, got some, got some, got some on my thumbnail. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's the Steelers going up against the Broncos. So let's get you out to Denver for the call of our game. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got a good AFC matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos. On to get us started now, the kicker, Chris Boswell. And off we go from Sports Authority Field. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Demarius Thomas, the intended receiver, and now it's second down. Here's the offense, and you got to talk about the guy that they nicknamed Bebe, Charles Demarius Thomas. You worry about him catching the ball, but you worry more about what he does after the catch. Big, strong, physical. He makes plays downfield. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Set, now Simeon. He goes underneath for Anderson. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. And a look at the Steelers' defensive unit. Ryan Shazier ran so fast at his combine that many people thought someone actually ran for him. He's a linebacker who ran sub 4-4, and he uses that speed to make plays all over the field. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Here's Riley Dixon now. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line.
And tough starting field position here. Bryant, the lone receiver left. Now Roethlisberger on first down. And this one complete to Marcus Wheaton. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Sammy Coates has it complete. 13 yards there on the pickup, and the Steelers are going to have a first down. Everything about that play was beautiful. A great corner route where the receiver worked the defensive back inside and then broke back to the outside to the corner. But how about the throw by the quarterback? Anticipation on the break from inside to outside. He threw the football. As the receiver turned around, the ball greeted him. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. On your screen now, here are the offensive starters. At wideout, Antonio Brown is certainly someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver. It doesn't matter to him how defenses want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how to defeat him toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Ladarius Green there, his tight end, and it's third down. And a look now at how the Broncos line up defensively. I love watching T.J. Ward play. Whether it's covering in the deep zones or blitzing, this man makes plays. On third down, Roethlisberger, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession. Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how the defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. If they open things up, let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Just one yard to go here on second down. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this one complete to Virgil Green. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Now Simeon. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And that was incomplete, but I don't know how much of that falls on the quarterback. He was pressured. Brandon, the rush showed up so fast, the quarterback had no chance to get the ball downfield. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Let's go! Simeon. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Green's got it over the middle, and he's brought down. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. His pass caught at the four. It's a gain of five, and it'll be second and goal. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. C.J. Anderson punching it in from a yard away. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. Second down now after the pass completion. Second down, here's Rock. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Vaughn Miller coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. Two, two. Go, 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 go. Here's Roethlisberger, and he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win, and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Here we go on fourth down with Roethlisberger. He completes it to Bryant. Martavis Bryant. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Martavis Bryant, 74 yards. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. 
And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Second down of the offense in search of six yards. They run it again with Anderson. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run. Let's go! Blue Lady! Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. They have a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Simeon over the middle this time to Fowler. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And a pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now Simeon. And he hits his man on the out route, Demarius Thomas. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give him such space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got it complete to Fowler. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it second down. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. Thomas, the lone receiver left. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that's incomplete. C.J. Anderson, the intended target, and it's third and five. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. All right, here we go. Blue lining. Back to throw again. And that's complete to Sanders. Four yards on the pickup. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. From here, this would have been a 48-yarder, but no, they're going to go for it. They'll run for it. Anderson, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of three. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Now let's go! On first down, he'll drop to throw. Incomplete into the hands of Fowler. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. He's got some space. And now we're circling here around the two-minute warning. This is a setup play. Trying to get one last one in before the clock warning. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Back to Denver right after this. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Set, green, 39. Simeon. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. 
We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's caught, it's Thomas. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Demarius Thomas, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos are in for six. Now McManus for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. And they went big on first down. Proves unfruitful. That's a bold strike right there, taking it downfield and putting some air on it. But how about the coverage? Able to get his hands across the receiver and bat the ball down. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. And incomplete, the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Now three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Here's Roethlisberger. He finds Coates complete. It'll be a gain of 18 on the play. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. Brandon, I have one word for you after that completion for a first down. Lucky. Analytics. <laughs> well, the analytics say they pumped the football there. <laughs> so we're changing the analytics as we go, right? What a big-time play for them and really took a big-time chance. Yeah, big-time first-half chance. To throw again is Roethlisberger. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the book. Down the numbers. There he goes. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you don't, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. 
And this will wind up being a poor decision to bring it out as he's out of bounds shy of the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Second and 10, it's Roethlisberger once more. Over the middle, here to Coates. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to look deep down the field. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, T.J. Ward. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So the Broncos coming out now. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Just get out of there. Snap count through the defense off. Five-yard penalty. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL. Audio Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the inline, so it'll come out to the 25. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Sammy Coates, the intended target there. That'll bring up second down. Brandon, what we just saw there is something we hear from coaches throughout the league. How are you going to defend what they call the moment of truth ball? Meaning a 50-50, the ball's in the air, defender's there, receiver's there. Who's going to make a play on the foot? Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. And they'll try to fire up the running game with C.J. Anderson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now 
Sim in. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And all the way home for a Broncos score. C.J. Anderson. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Broncos.